Hello math learners, so for today's video, we are going to proceed in our last lesson and that is all about formulating statistical research. Okay, this is our last lesson for grade 10, sa mga grade 10 dyan. So, for, um, okay, for the discussion of mean and standard deviation, that um, I'm just continue them in my another subject for senior high school and that is all about the statistics and probability. So now let us proceed to statistical research. It's supposed to be mini statistical research. So now let us proceed. So let us define first what is research. If when we say research it refers to the methodical investigation and study of source and materials in order to establish facts and attain new conclusions. So it requires series of steps to gather, analyze, and interpret information to increase one's understanding of a topic or issue. It is said to be uh, open-ended because we continually come up with questions based on curiosity or on observation. Okay? So, in, um, if any say research, it, um, it you are going to investigate to uh, things that you are curious to know if, uh, if you want to know something. And I'm not mistaken that research is already informed you by your English teacher. So, kasi sa, sa English 10, meron din pong discuss na research. And kapag nag-senior high school kayo, meron din i-discuss sa inyo na, uh, what we call this, practical research. Yun po. Uh, share ko lang. So now, let us enumerate the importance of research. So, number one, it expand your knowledge base. Second, it gives you the latest information. It helps you know what you are up against. It builds your credibility. It helps you narrow your scope. It teaches you better discernment. Seven, it helps you with problem solving. Next, next it introduces you to new ideas. Nine, so it helps you reach people. And ten, it encourages encourages curiosity yun nga number one it expand your knowledge base so what does it mean your knowledge base you are at it expand if um instead of you only know one because of research you know a lot let's say um let us compare to history in martial law you are going to research because um sabi nga nila meron daw kumakalat na historical revision so you are going to research for the fact for not to you to easy to believe that history which posted on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, um, sabi na natin YouTube, Instagram, etc. Et so, if you, for you, that you are not easy to believe or not to be fooled by a fake news. Okay, so, uh, vote wisely for the incoming, um, elections. So, let um baka napunta tayo sa mabuta tayo sa politika, mabash tayo. So, yun, proceed na tayo. So, while it is true that doing or engaging in research provides a lot of benefits, it does come at a cost. A researcher needs to sacrifice breadth for depth since doing research is time intensive and need a full span. It can say span Dangkal, okay? In Tagalog, of knowledge to achieve the extent of his time. Um, in this module, so we will focus on a simplified study of material sources called statistical mini research. Mini research meaning konti lang naman. Unlike formal research, statistical mini research requires only three important steps. Number one, identify the problem. Number two, search for solution just me and um, three present the solution this is mini research kasi kapag sabi like formal research talagang hahalukatin yun na parang mga halukat kayo ng history ganon oh, so we have the parts of statistical mini research what are those so first syempre hindi mawala ang study ang title page the title page is a very first page of the a research paper it should contains the papers title, the author's name, and the completion date. 
syempre kailangan yon. So, mayroon akong iaanong format ng research. Uh, naipopost ko na lang siguro both sa classroom or sa TikTok ko. Okay? So, next. Para, ano, mahimasmasan yung ano, ma- malaman nyo kahit pa paano yung about dun sa research na sinasabi dito. Next. Introduction or rationale. This is the first part of research and where the researcher introduces topic. One of the key goals of the introduction or rationale is to get the reader's attention and interest. Introduction or rationale should give should give some background information and should set the context. Um, it's subdivided into three. So letter A, so statement of the problem. So it you are going first to indicate what is the problem. Mini research to ah, hindi to yung research na sa English nyo or sa practical practical research nyo. Hindi po yun. The statement of the problem contains research questions the researcher is are trying to answer. This should be stated clearly with contextual detail. Next, definition of terms. This contains the list of important terms or alpha in or in alphabetical order or acronyms you need to operationally define. Uh, the terms should be defined based on how they are used in research. So, syempre, kailangan po, naka, ano, important terms from alphabetical order po talaga as usual. Next, hypothesis. It is a clear and specific statement of expectation that has to be tested. Syempre, that uh, summarizes your introduction and it, um, uh, it, makes the statement more specific no? to just to be clear for your research the second one is body so automatic when we hit the body part that means that the whole paragraph and uh, the whole story ganon. so the body is the main part of the research it contains a logically organized data and evidences where the researcher gives and describes arguments and findings. It has the subdivided into two, so A and B. So, background of the study. So, the background of the study established the context, context of the research. This includes both important and re- relevant studies that support or refute the research. So, siyempre, back, background study, hindi makay basta-basta na basta nyo yung halimbawa, sabihin natin, paano po nasabing masama si masama si ganito paano nag si Anbawa sabihin natin sige sa martial law okay wala okay ah wag mo na akong baba so Anbawa bakit po natin nasabing masama si Marcos sa mga anti Marcos paano po natin nasabing masama si Marcos um, ngayon paano naman eto sa side ng pro Marcos paano po naging mabuti si Marcos syempre meron kayong background study and background research for that that how you say that uh that the pres- that kind of the president is a dictator or a good president diba po so next presentation and allel analysis of data this gives the reader are an insight into what the researcher has derived out of the entire data so in Slobin's formula so gagamit po meron po tayong tinatawag na Slobin's formula kasi nga statistical mini research po tayo hindi po tayo <laughs> practical research so a formula used to determine the number of sample size or the n out of the given population that indicates capital N and a margin of error E so number one sampling method a sampling method is a process by which and titles of samples are chosen. Number two is statistical measure. The statistical measures are used to summarize the data and evaluate the evidence against the a uh, hypothesis. Proceed. So another one, third is conclusion. So it is a synthesis. It is the synthesis of the key points in the research. It reminds the reader of the main argument and helps them understand why the research should matter. So, hindi naman kayo basta-basta lang magsasabi na, ay ba, masama si Marcos, mabuti si Marcos. Diba? Kung, kasi, kaya yun po ang binabang ito example, kasi yun yung madalas na issue sa TikTok, sa Facebook, hindi ako nagpaparig, wala akong pinak. 
Okay? So, yun lang. Kasi meron kasi nakikita siya. Sabi niya, mabuti si Marcos. Masama si Marcos. Bakit? So, you are going to do a research. Okay? So, concluding statement. It brings closure to the paragraph in the conclusion. Thus, for this reason, in conclusion are often used as starting phrase. Next, <coughs> excuse me, recommendation. It contains the specific measures that need to be taken based on your findings. This should also indicate to which aims have been achieved. Next, appendices. Sa, sa part ng libro, um, it gives uh, a credit to, to the, your source. These are not essential part of the text but uh, su supplementary materials to make the research more comprehensive. Siyempre sa research, di ba magsasearch kayo sa Google? O oh, halimbawa, paano yung nasabing mabuti o masama? Paano yung nasabing mabuti or masama si Marcos? Um, Hahana, pati yung link na pinag-search nyo, ilalagay nyo doon. Kaya merong iba, hindi na loloko kasi, pa, halimbawa, kung Wikipedia ang pinagmula ng research mo, talagang hindi ka paniniwalaan kasi that they know that Wikipedia is easily to edit. ba? Diba? So, this is the part of statistical mini-research format. So, in your first page, you are going to indicate the title or it, title. Then, the second page indicates the in, in, introduction or rationale. Then, the third page contains body. So, it has subdivided into two. And conclusion and appendices or doc, documentation, um, yung picture. Nambawa. Hambawa sa martial law, nag-search kayo about sa martial law. Na sinasabi nyo. Okay. Chip, di ba, ba maglalagay yung documentation sa mga nangyari? Hindi ba? Or sa mga pinagawa, halimbawa ni Marcos. Like yung mga lang center, yung bataan nuclear plan, yung mga ganon. Yung mga magagandang pinagawa niya. Lalagay niyo yung documentation. Di ba? Ganon nyo. Okay, again, ulitin ko, disclaimer lang. Kaya example ko lang po yon at wala akong sinasabi na mabuti. Wala akong sinasabing masama. Wala lang. About sa research, for those who believe um, in sa, sa, kung mabuti, then do a research. Masama, paano mo nasabing masama? Research mo. Paano mo nasabing mabuti? Research mo. Yun ang, that research is the key. <laughs> so, So let us let us continue this in my next video.